So if this is you when it comes to parallel parking or parking in general, you might think the only way to really resolve this is by installing backup cams or sonar sensors to your vehicle. But both of those things require wiring through the vehicle and with the backup cam, you're gonna have to possibly upgrade the stereo unit on your vehicle. And if you don't know how to do it yourself, this might cost you a lot in the installation fee. But what if I say this product you see here is said to eliminate this? This is called Fensens, and what it is basically is a smart license plate frame that uses sonar, that gives your vehicle sonar, I should say, and displays it all on your phone without needing to wire anything on your vehicle. Everything is here is 100% wireless. And I've been rocking this license plate frame on one of my vehicles for quite a while now. And to my surprise, it's actually working. Now, though this was provided to me by the company themselves, it still has some cons that I really wish to highlight. But we'll elaborate more in a little bit. So underneath the box, it highlights it's wireless. Batteries can last up to five months. Install in just five minutes. Instant hand-free alert. Fast app auto launch can work in extreme weather conditions and you, of course you got your standard manufacturer warranty. Now out of the box we are first prompted with this nicely done setup guide. Behind this we get a bunch of goodies. This is a tap button that can get mounted on the steering wheel. They provide us with batteries, your standard AAA batteries that are nicer than yours. Here we get all the necessary screws to fit this in all kinds of vehicles and the frame itself. So here we can see the sonar sensors are on the both left and right side. Also has a little sticker here instructing you not to block your registration information. Let's just go ahead and peel this off. And the back here is just your standard plate. They also throw in a magnetic uh, car mount for your smartphone. The little metal plate bracket one that's magnetically held together like this so you can put it on your vent. I thought that was really cool they threw this in for you. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So the entire setup procedure was as simple as removing a few screws here and there to install the AAA batteries. Which by the way, these screws actually require you to use the uh, tools they provided you with because these are actually security screws, making it impossible or challenging for somebody who could just simply look at your plates and steal them off your vehicle. It requires special tools and it's pretty awesome that they included this and also did this move. But continuing on, pairing it to your device was as simple as just downloading the app, tap to locate the nearest FenceSense license plate, and you get the option if you want to use this for your front or rear license plate frame. This is actually really cool because I know a few people actually have like low rides with like carbon fiber splitters. This frame could be used for the front fascia if you ever need to. But once you do all that, the installation process was just like any ordinary license plate frame. Remove a few screws and just put this in its place. The only part that does require you to grab some extra tools is the measuring process. Depending on what kind of vehicle you have, you're gonna be required to use a tape measure to measure the distance from the edge of your car to your license plate frame. But other than that, once you do that, you're set. So with all that set up in place, in the perfect scenario, this is how it works. When you're about to park, you can simply tap the little tap button that you have placed anywhere around your vehicle. And when you push that, it will send out a notification to your phone, which you could then tap on your screen and it will quickly launch the app to this part of the display. And then if you already parked your car, and you're approaching your vehicle, another notification will pop up on your smartphone letting you know that you're nearby your car. And once you're in your vehicle, you can simply mount your phone and tap that notification and it'll bring you to this display. Brilliant, right? Well, not so much. If you force close the app or if your phone decides to close the app for you, if you tap the little tap button, it's not gonna bring up that notification. Same thing goes when you're approaching your vehicle from a parking lot it's not gonna bring up that notification. So you'll have to manually launch the app, which is totally understandable. There's just a little bit of loading to bring it back to this, this display. But it would be nice if that uh, tap button would override and just bring out the notification for the app. But if you ever need to parallel park your vehicle, this is where this license plate frame is definitely a savior. Now, unfortunately, all my cars already have backup cams, except for this one. This one only has sonar sensors. The thing I don't like about these already equipped sonar sensors, it doesn't, well, for this particular vehicle, it doesn't give you a visual idea how close or far you are from the object. And seeing the lines on your screen makes a huge difference, especially when you're trying to get out of those tight situations. 
But a big difference between the cylinders that are located on this plate and the ones that come equipped with my vehicle. With my vehicle, it's able to detect up to 180 degrees, I wanna say, of width, but it only detect moving vehicles or moving objects that are coming close. With this license plate, I notice if I have a shopping cart on the side, it doesn't pick it up. It will only pick up the objects that's directly behind the license plate. But it does respond quick. If let's say an object quickly goes behind your vehicle while you're backing up, it will update in less than a second. But when I was experimenting, Here's some footage right here of me trying to get into the green range. Anywhere between the green and the yellow, it's not really as accurate. But as soon as you approach the orange and the red color bars, it actually does become 100% accurate and responsive. But anything further out within the green and yellow, once again, it doesn't really like detect you right away. So, and if you have like a lifted truck, an SUV, you can adjust this manually to point the sonars downwards if you ever need to. They provide the tools to adjust them and I thought that was really cool and brilliant of them. So if you look closely, you'd see there's a sticker here saying anti-theft. In reality, there isn't any features like this. It will be nice, but I guess this is just a way to fool any would-be thieves from doing anything fishy, especially when they see this license plate in the back with that warning sticker. But admittedly, this frame is a little bit too bulky. So bulky, in fact, that I noticed when I'm driving this thing at night, it's actually blocking the license plate lights on my vehicle. I know this may vary on different vehicles, but I think this might be an issue in the near future. If CHP or any highway patrol sees this, they might pull us over thinking that our license plate lights are out. I just really wish they made this a little bit more flat along the edges, allowing the light to illuminate the license plate a lot better. But I do know some vehicles have their lights located in different spots. For instance, trucks, I know they have them on the bumper. So just keep this in mind if your vehicle has the lights located in a very similar spot. So overall, these sonar sensors haven't failed me yet. And with my sonar sensors that my car came equipped, I'm able to test this out and make sure they were actually responding properly. And they were. And just in case you're wondering, there's a gasket that goes around the battery. So it's, it's definitely protective against the outside weather elements. So if you don't wanna drill holes to run a backup cam in your vehicle, or go through the hassle of ruining the look of your vehicle by installing sonar sensor permanently to your bumper, then this license plate frame is definitely a great alternative. Especially if you wanna add sonar sensors to your front bumper of your vehicle, to prevent you from scraping, this is definitely a great way to do so. And the application itself, there's no hidden fees like some other free to download apps normally are. This one's 100% free, there's no hidden monthly fee or anything like that, and I was actually quite surprised. I guess the only true downside to this sonar sensor is that it doesn't fully do a 180 degree around the corners, it just picks up whatever is directly behind it, but it's accurate from what I experienced. Another downsider could be is that it does take AAA batteries, but they do last you about five months or so. And I do like how in the app, it tells you the battery life percentage each and every time you look at it. So you have a better idea when to swap them out. So that's gonna be it for this tech product review video. I'll make sure to include the link where you could get these uh, license plates in the video description for you guys. But now, quick shout out to this guy for being a part of our community. If you wish to be featured on our next video, make sure to keep an eye out in the comment section down below for the next keyword for you to have a chance of being shout out on our next video. So make sure you go ahead and do that. But until next time, remember guys, if you like this video, you know what to do, smash that like button as well as get subscribed so you don't miss any more tech videos like this. And feel free to share this with your friends, family, anybody else who want, might want to know about these license plates. But until next time, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.